there, welcome back to your channel. So, um, been complaining about snark tuners a lot. So the last time I was at uh, my local store, Everything Musical, here in Columbus, Georgia, I found this uh, tuner here by Martin, Martin and Company. Established 1833 tuner, precision tuning, HD screen, pitch calibration. So um, this snark still works. I thought it was broken. I found it in my camera bag and it's still alive officially and it has a, um, uh, I didn't realize this, but it has a, a uh, metronome on it. Like a, you push this button on the back and you can, um, you know, play in time. I didn't notice it on this one, this blue one, and um, maybe it's on here somewhere and I'm just not recognizing where you do it. So I don't know if Snark even does that anymore. Um, the Martin does not do that. But I found that these snarks break really easily. I've got snark carcasses all over the place. Uh, the one of them, this is the most recent one I bought, this blue one, and it broke almost immediately. I don't know why. I mean, I just took it to a show and it broke there, and it's never worked. I mean, it works sometimes. Like sometimes it'll turn on. Who knows? Then I had another one that was supposed to be sturdier than that one, and uh, it popped off the base. You know, just broke off. Uh, without hardly any, you know, provocation. And then this one here, uh, I like it, and it has this metronome feature on the back. I don't think the Martin has that. That would be the only thing that I like better about this one. Uh, and this is the only one I've ever had that didn't break immediately. I just found it before doing this video. Um, and it has this metronome. So this is a good one, but um, overall, the head just popped off of it, which is annoying. And if that happens at a show, it could just like roll away, you know, and it's gone. Uh, so that will not happen with the Martin. And I should probably mention right off the bat um, that I don't have any kind of connection to this company in any way, Martin or whatever, or any or Snark, obviously, because I'm critical of their uh, parts or whatever. Uh, but mainly, I don't do you know sponsored videos. So if you come to my channel and you see a, a video about something, it's because I purchased it and I either like it or don't like it usually because I like it and I want to tell somebody about it uh, but I have no connection don't plan on having any connection I'm not going to start working for Sweetwater or whatever this channel is just about me documenting my music I don't want to become a salesman you know what I'm saying uh, so anyway this here is the Martin tuner and I like it uh, mainly I'll tell you why it has this kind of like swivel thing here this hinge that actually has a screw in it and then another one here so it has a lot of versatility in the motion uh, it clips on and I can tell that it's not going to break in the same way that the snark does. The snark has this removable head thing going, which I'm sure they thought of because it would break off and you know it's better to make it removable so you can just pop it back on. Um, but I'd rather it just not pop off in the first place, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I like this uh, screw system. It moves completely 360, the, the thing does inside the thing. And then when you um, turn it on, it has a really nice screen, like you kind of have to hold it down for just a second. But I think the screen is nicer. And uh, I ended up putting mine in chromatic mode. It has like chromatic mode, guitar mode, ukulele mode, and uh, violin mode. And those are all, you know, uh, they just put a letter. So chromatic is a C, and then you can move it along with the switch here. Um, you just hold on to the original uh, button that you turned it on with and you can move from C to G. If you just put it in G and you usually tune, you know, standard tuning, it's going to work just fine. I put mine in chromatic because I'm always in, you know, weird tunings and that way it'll pick up each note as opposed to, you know, only the standard guitar notes. Because I noticed in guitar, when I tune down to like D or E flat, I'd have to hold, I'd have to find the note to make it work because it, it didn't understand because it was in you know, I was looking for the standard tuning, uh, not my funky tunings. So I put it in chromatic, uh, and I think this is considered a chromatic tuner. I know my chromatic tuner is on, on my zoom here. Uh, and you can also change the frequency. I've got it on 441, but it goes from like 440 to 450, I think, or something like that. You just keep pushing the button, and if you have a, a particular frequency that you want to uh, use, you can change that too. So it's pretty basic, but I do like this screen. Just has a little more, uh, I don't know, just something to it that I can relate to better when I look at the screen. The screen looks like it's a little higher definition and clarity than the Snark, 
but mainly it's the dependability. I can think they did a smart thing by making it collapse like this. For starters, they, they hinged it up, and instead of making it pop off and removable, they made it where if you hit it, it just folds in on itself. That hinge, you know, does its thing. And it's not super loose, so it'll still hold position, but if something were to happen to it, it's just going to move, you know, with the, with the physics of the motion as opposed to resisting and popping off like the snark does. All right, so I don't have like a firm opinion, start, snark versus Martin, but uh, if you're looking for another one of these like cheap clip-ons, uh, $20 tuners, this one uses up less real estate, it's less apparent that it's on your guitar. So like you can put it on here like this if you don't want anyone to see it because I, I really don't like the way they look either. It makes me feel like a goof. So I'm going to plug it on right here. You can still see it a little bit, but you can whip it, ar whip it around so that where it works.